let's talk about uh, King Charles because we have heard this morning that he has returned to London for what is expected to be further treatment following his cancer diagnosis. Is that a picture from this morning or is that a recent picture? These are pictures from this morning. Oh, OK, well, Cameron Walker, our royal correspondent, is the man who knows. He's in that royal limo. He wants to be seen. He absolutely wants to be seen. So he landed in the Buckingham Palace back garden in a helicopter with Queen Camilla earlier today. He, they have travelled the picture pictures you've just seen as them travelling between Buckingham Palace and Clarence House. You're right, Andrew. If, he d if the King did not want to be seen, he would not travel in that Rolls Royce yeah. with the big windows. That's the whole purpose of the car, and clearly he wants to be seen by the public. We don't know what treatment he's receiving. He is expected to receive treatment while he is in London, uh, but we saw him walking to the church at Sandringham on Sunday following his first round of treatment, and he looks pretty fit and yeah. healthy at the moment, but yeah. clearly we do know he's had a cancer diagnosis and he's getting the uh, appropriate treatment. And with Queen Camilla? Yes, with Queen Camilla. She's got a number of engagements planned uh, in right. the London area this week, so that's why perhaps she's with him. The King, as we have spoken about at length, is expected to continue with meetings behind the scenes, so it's thought he is going to have a few official meetings, either at Clarence House or Buckingham Palace, while he is in London. But what we're not going to see is him carrying out public engagements. Right with members of the public, okay. so it's going to be but very it's, controlled. It's good, it's good to see him this morning. I think people are uh, really yeah. looking, looking well. We don't yeah. know how long he'll be in London for, do we? We don't, but it's certainly... Back to Sandringham. Uh, yeah, uh, possibly back to Sandringham. Uh, we don't know if the Queen's going to travel back and forth. We know she's got some engagements all week, actually. Um, so, yeah, up until Thursday. So OK, see. let's talk then about uh, Prince Harry and Meghan's website. This Wrong. is Sussex.com. <laughs> now, I had a quick look and... It still looks like a website in development to me, but what my eyes are also drawn to is this royal crest. Yes. Is that a problem, Cameron? So it's a lot of controversy about this crest. The crest you are seeing was one that was granted to Meghan by the Queen in 2018 following their wedding. So it's split in half. The right-hand side is Meghan's half. So that contains, well, it's a black and white photograph you're seeing there. But if you see it in colour, it's representing the Pacific Ocean, the blue of California, the songbird emblem of communication and flowers native to California. On the left-hand side is Prince Harry's side. And that is the royal family crest, as you can imagine, as well as um, red escallops representing uh, the Spencer family, Princess Diana's family. So they are clearly still wanting to use that royal connection, royal crest, which could prove a bit of a problem for be them. Because, because the argument would be that they're using that royal crest to assist their monetizing of their life. Yeah, that is the accusation. His website, is it, what his website's all about, mm. telling us how he's a best-selling author and all the rest of it. Yeah, and the sources told the Mail this morning that this could get the Sussexes into real trouble. If, if the royal title has, if it has a hint of commercialism, then they could, well, have to shut this website down. The Sussex, a source close to the Sussexes has told the Mail that Prince Harry and Meghan are the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. That's a fact. That's their surname. That's their name. But it's the crest, isn't it? It is the crest. But if you look back at what they agreed in 2020, Andrew, when they stepped back as well, working members of the royal family. What they agreed, the royal family and Harry and Meghan, was that they would not use the word royal for any commercial um, endeavours. What they didn't agree on was the word Sussex. And I, I suspect it's going to come down to the interpretation of the word royal or something around royal. Does the crest um, constitute a link to the royal family, which clearly can't be commercialised under was, British government law? They're rebranding because it was always about the Archwell Foundation mm. before, but nobody knows what the Archwell Foundation is. But Sussex, as you know, he's the Duke of Sussex, she's the Duchess, very famous. Does this suggest that they their money-making activities have stalled because we know they've lost the Spotify contract. A lot of talk that the Netflix contract won't be renewed. Quite possibly, and we saw them on a red carpet uh, in Jamaica recently trying to butter up the uh, Paramount uh, boss as well, suggesting perhaps they're looking towards a commercial deal there. Uh, we don't know is the honest truth. What we do know is that clearly the polls on both sides of the Atlantic uh, are not favourable to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex at the moment. As you said, the, the Spotify deal was cancelled prematurely. Yeah. They still have uh, Spotify, but the fact they are relaunching this website on the eve before Harry and Meghan are seen in public together at the Invictus Games in Canada, mm. which starts tomorrow, it's hinting that they're starting to do a lot more public appearances at the same time that William and Catherine, for example, and the King and Queen, well, not the Queen, but they're all scaling back because of health it scares. It's very carefully timed. Yeah. I mean, it does talk about the Archwell Foundation here, Andrew, mm. saying it's to serve communities in need. 
and at the Archwell Foundation, the Duke and Duchess are committed to their mission. Yeah, and it does link to their foundation, their charity arm of, of, of the Duke and Duchess's work, as well as Archwell Productions, which is their Netflix deal, Spotify, and anything else they decide mm. to do, plus, of course, their Sussex brand. So, yeah, it's all to play for. Fascinating, and we'll, of course, be covering the um, Invictus Games. We will be, yeah. Yeah. All right, that's Cameron Walker, who is our very good royal editor. You're going to spend this evening, aren't you, having a good old look at this website? I am. Having a good old read. Line by line.